I can tell you that, you know, here at Planned Parenthood, we believe that it's not up to us to decide what is a good or bad reason mm -hmm. for somebody to decide to terminate a pregnancy. Pretty shocking. And earlier today, Democrats in the U.S. House defeated a bill that would ban terminations based on gender. Not surprisingly, the White House also opposed the legislation. Here now with Reaction, Fox News contributor Chris Hahn and from Concern Women for America, Penny Nance. Doesn't this offend you in any way? And I, look, forget about if you're pro-life, you're pro-choice for a second. Right. The idea that we're going to get $484 million to Planned Parenthood. And you see that kind of advice. Well, no, well, no, no, I'm asking. Because mm -hmm. to me, that shocks the conscience. That sounds like China. That doesn't sound like the United States. That doesn't sound what pro-choice is. Oh, I want a boy, not a girl. I want a girl, not a boy. Does that not... Does that not hurt you inside? Does your conscience bother you at all well, about that? Nobody wants to see anyone ever get abortion. Yeah, of course. Nobody wants to see somebody choosing whether it's a boy or a girl. That's not what anyone wants. And to say that the Democrats defeated this today oh, is not really sincere. The Republicans defeated it by putting it on the suspension calendar in the House of Representatives. They have a majority there. They needed two-thirds. They did it this, they this way because they didn't really want okay. it to happen. Well, That's what they wanted to do. You say that because it's going to be demagogued by, by the left and obviously. Right. You know, it's interesting, Penny, because the president... And the White House, you know, you go back a day ago, they weren't sure where they stood on the issues. So obviously a lot of political strategy went into this decision. Um, I find this so shocking to the conscience. And then when you look at the money that we give to Planned Parenthood, taxpayer dollars, it makes it that much more, more worse. Son, this is outrageous what happened today. This is the deliberate subtraction of women for, from society. And this is the real war on women, not the made-up version that the Democrats came up with. And yet the president, Planned Parenthood, and ha yes, House Democrats, 94% um, of them voted against this bill, uh, all stood together to defeat this bill. And we're not done with it yet. This Penny, is going John to come Boehner back. defeated this bill by putting it on the it, suspension it, calendar. You know what? Let's you know be what? honest and not a chance. dime of federal money and to Planned Parenthood you know, goes to abortion. Oh, that is outrageous. Not Have a you, dime. You know, know anything about business And there's at all. no evidence that shows that selective abortion, but gender-specific abortions are occurring, Penny. Let me Penny. finish what I'm talking about. The bottom line here is that the Democrats stood with Planned Parenthood. They've been caught red-handed again going against what society believes is important. Well, they are supporting, they've supported before I, sex people they thought were sex traffickers. They've had 107 criminal uh, uh Penny, you're talking about anecdotes made by them. some filmmaker. You know what, maybe I'm more for liberty than you are. Money. Maybe I want smaller government. Maybe I don't want government in my right, bedroom me, or in my doctor's <laughs> office. Maybe but you, you want to give them a million dollars a day. Second. If you're for more liberty, I am. All right, and we have this issue First about the liberty. contraceptive mandate, and that is that liberals like yourself support the idea. Absolutely. You you want to pay for women's birth control. I do. And you think if they you can't ought, afford it? I you think you ought to be able to compel people of conscience and different religious faiths to pay for it? Nobody's trying to do that. All right. Well, well actually, we, yes, yes, they we are. are. That's what the whole we contraceptive are. mandate the is about. Largest because Catholic charities yeah. and Catholic. No. Let me yeah. me, let me finish. Employees of Catholic charities, employees of Catholic hospitals, uh, where it is a direct. Uh, it's in direct opposition to their conscience, the teachings of their faith, are forced to do something that, that they don't believe in. And that it goes against their freedom of religion, just like taking $487.4 million you know in government grants and reimbursements and giving it what to What about the First Amendment's freedom from religion? When people well, work for Catholic charities, they go to work for Catholic charities because it's a job. Says? Yeah, I can't be oppressed the free by anyone else. exercise else's thereof. Like, no one, or the establishment thereof. So we can't Not find laws today. We can have a separate set of law for the church and a separate set of laws for everybody else. You've totally, that's not the way it works. Total liberal logic, Penny. What he's that's not liberal he's, logic. That's, it, that's Hamilton. This is the he's ultimate, Chris, this thing, do you not Hamilton. believe this is a war against women? You don't understand the ultimate violence against women is in right. the womb? And it, all these guys that voted in favor of the Violence Against Women Act suddenly switch around and and are in favor of Penny, it as long as it's in the womb. It's Penny, not one of the people who sponsored the bill that went down today voted for Lily Ledbetter. Not one. Let's, and not one of those people. On and you know what? So if, you're, what? if you're so anti-choice, so right, stop, stop, stop. Let me <laughs> let me go to let's go to some of the arguments. You remember when when Rupp Bork was up for for the Supreme Court, nominated for the Supreme Court? Remember, it was Ted Kennedy that said there's going to be women back alley abortions, all that rhetoric, all showed up again today. Here is Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Listen to this. 
I think the next act will be dragging women out of uh, patient rooms into the streets uh, and screaming over their uh, bodies as they uh, dragged out of getting access to women's health care. Uh, that's what I feel like uh, is occurring today uh, with the uh, legislation that is on the floor. Now this is the problem. I know you Democrats are desperate. You can't run on the president's <laughs> record. So you, you got to scare grandma and you got to scare right. old people and, and you got to start this phony yeah. war on women. Nobody's going to be dragged out of anything. All conservatives like myself, small government conservatives are saying, if you want birth control, you pay for it. If you want to make that choice, your pro-choice, wait, you choose that lifestyle, whatever it is, you pay for it. Right. If you want to go to Planned Parenthood, the government should not get seven, 487 million taxpayer dollars when we're going broke to pay for abortion, abortion services, or any of these things. You explain to me how a government in $5 trillion in new Obama debt should be paying for this. You know, $400 million. Explain that. 487 million. $487 million dollars for family planning so people do not have children they that can't they do cannot it on their afford. Uh -huh. You know, there are a lot of people in this country out of work. How about you, you and your liberal friends like Chuck Schumer? Why don't you guys raise the money for this? You know, a lot, of, a lot of people do raise the money for this. Why don't you Most do it? of Planned Parenthood's budget is raised. Why don't you stop taking it away from but contractors to, and taxpayers you know and give them but that the money The bottom line is this. It's money well spent because it, it keeps... Money well spent because you think so, but Penny you know, and I disagree with you. But you know, I don't understand you. how you could be both by against way, abortion and against having way, most equal, of those fair access to birth control. Wait a minute. Everyone, wait. Fair access. Penny, hang on. Penny, any any woman that wants birth control, we discovered in this process yep. in the controversy over Sandra Flock, you can get birth control pills for nine dollars. A well, condom absolutely. is not that expensive. I actually <laughs> looked into it. Uh, you know, absolutely, we spend through Title Ten I don't know about that. millions and millions of dollars a year in order to give free access to birth control. This is not about that. Right. This is well, about this, abortion. Well, this bill today they're, they're was about running. having the government the, in a place where it does not belong, and I think no woman wants to see that happen. The government is in a place where it dollars where it doesn't belong. By the way, Listen, a million right. dollars they, a day plus. Republic because they're for a small government unless it deals with a woman, and that's that's bad. That's yeah, bad. You're, bad. you're more pro-woman than me. Right. <laughs> and coming up, thank you both. A, thank you. You don't want to miss us. A, you don't